So far in 2024, investors have been sellers on the streaming trend. When you look at companies other than Netflix, which is still one of Wall Street's favorites, it's been a bloodbath. NBC owner Comcast, Roku, Paramount, and Warner Brothers Discovery have all seen their share prices cut down by stockholders. Even with the stock market delivering solidly positive year-to-date gains, companies that made big bets on streaming have seen nothing but red for most of this new year. But if you check the data, streaming is growing into a pretty reliable and profitable industry. So what's going on? I'm going to explain why Wall Street has been dumping streamers, why the data show this could be a bit premature, and why the days of choosing between dozens of streaming options could be numbered. If you take a walk down Wall Street, you'll see that some of the least favored companies are those that made a big and expensive pivot to streaming. Comcast stock has been positive over the past year, but has underperformed the overall market. And despite beating Wall Street's latest earnings expectations, selling its stake in Hulu for at least $8.6 billion and raising its dividend, its stock is still negative so far in 2024. That's in part because investors aren't confident in its Peacock streaming platform, which lost $825 million in the most recent quarter. Roku stock has been diving hard this year, falling by more than 25%. The streaming service warned investors in February about near-term challenges and an uneven ad market recovery. Paramount stock has also seen big declines in 2024. The company owns CBS and networks like MTV and Comedy Central. It has added millions of subscribers to its Paramount Plus streaming platform, but during its last quarter, streaming lost the company nearly $500 million. And the stock chart for Warner Brothers Discovery, which includes everything from HBO to CNN and TNT, has also been brutal. The company's direct-to-consumer offering, which includes streaming platform Max, delivered profits of about $100 million last year. But that profit included $130 million of licensing deals for selling programs to companies like Netflix and hundreds of millions of dollars in cuts to the marketing budget. Investors have not been impressed. That said, Wall Street may be punishing these companies a little too harshly when you look at the data on streaming. Subscription analytics platform Antenna found that while growth slowed, streaming still grew 10% in 2023, after posting 20% growth in each of the previous three years. Antenna's data also found that growth has been shifting to numerous services. Netflix accounted for almost half of all subscriptions in 2019, but in 2023, its share was closer to a quarter. And Bank of America's internal data show that consumers are spending way more on streaming than they were even a couple years ago. The percentage of households spending over $100 a month is growing, while the percentage spending less than $20 is shrinking fast. The report also found that the rise in spending on streaming services was significantly outpacing overall discretionary spending and what consumers were spending on entertainment in general. The report's authors expect that trend to continue as consumers move away from spending on out-of-home experiences and back to at-home entertainment. But that may not be good news for every company with a streaming service. I spoke with Jessica Reef Ehrlich, senior media and entertainment analyst at B of A Securities. She told me that it's unlikely all of these streaming services will survive. She expects that many will have to consolidate through mergers and acquisitions, while others will go the way of short-form streaming platform Quibi. Remember Quibi? No, you probably don't because it's dead. She thinks that in the end, we'll end up with three or four streaming platforms, similar to the three or four networks Americans had in the early days of TV. Even bullish investors in companies like Paramount, including Michael Morris of Guggenheim Securities, are predicting that companies will need to merge. We believe that Paramount could be an acquisition target for a company looking to maximize their own scale. And we have written that we believe Warner Brothers Discovery is one entity that would benefit from combining with Paramount. Reef Ehrlich predicts that while Americans aren't going to cut back on streaming anytime soon, it's likely our choices will be Netflix and a few others, rather than Netflix and a few dozen others. <laughs>